Hopefully everybody is having a great start to their week. We got the CBC going on in DC this weekend. It's a lot happening. Uh, a lot of opportunities to get out here and build some relationships with. And as you guys know, uh, that's the easiest way to me to start winning these government contracts and do these relationships. And we're going to do a little housekeeping first before we get started out here. Uh, as always, if you're going to be listening to this on the replay, make sure that you guys are putting your contact information down into the comments, letting people know who you are, what it is that you do, where you're located at. As you know, government contracting is all about partnerships, relationships, and you can do it a whole lot easier starting right here on YouTube. Also, if you're watching this, make sure you are subscribing to the channel and telling somebody else about what we got going on over here on YouTube. So share this information out with other minority business owners. It takes you a couple seconds to do it. It doesn't cost you one penny to do it either. So if you're going to be absorbing all of this wonderful education, all I ask is that you share this out with somebody else so they can learn this information as well. Now, to get some of this housekeeping out of the way, uh, if you guys want to stay in contact with me on all of my social channels, as I do go live on Instagram when they don't have me blocked, uh, on Mondays at 8 p.m., I go live on Clubhouse Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Uh, Thursdays, I've changed from 12 to 2, so we'll be here at 2 p.m. Eastern on Thursdays on YouTube. And Fridays, I'll be in my Facebook group. If you visit the link in my Instagram bio or visit TravisKnows.com and scroll all the way down here to the bottom, you can find all of my social media channels. And we're looking at that TV right there. So that's TravisKnows.com. Uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll be able to find my social media channels. So you'll be able to turn on the bells, alerts, whatever it is over there. So you can get updated when I do open up these uh, spaces to learn about business, government contracting, the whole nine. Also, if you need some funding, yes, we're talking about some money today. Can you win government contracts without no money? Yeah, we're going to have that conversation today. So I know we're going to be needing some money. Well, if you guys, again, visit TravisKnows.com, you can see business funding right here. And if you actually click there, you can learn exactly how you can align yourself to get some funding by my wonderful team at Later Financial Group, whether it's credit cards, uh, real estate, whatever you need funding for. Uh, they are small business, minority business owner friendly, and they know exactly what to do to help us out there. So again, if you need that funding, visit TravisKnows.com and it will be there as well. Now let's jump over to the other screen here. Again, we will be learning today about can you win government contracting without any money? That's what we're going to be talking about. Whether you're on YouTube or you're on Clubhouse, make sure you're liking, subscribing, sharing this information. That little square down there on Clubhouse, share this room out right here on YouTube. You actually can share the link to the YouTube video. So go ahead and share that out. Uh, so other minority entrepreneurs can find out what we're doing here. Also, put in the comments. Let me know what your name is, where are you tuning in from, and what does your business do? This is networking, guys. Don't just be here to consume information. Let's network, meet each other, because that's what government contracting is about, putting the pieces together. And you never know. You could be right here on a live, capable of putting a magical piece together. All you got to do is communicate. Now, a little more housekeeping before we get done here. If we come over here to the other screen that's right here, uh, I do have some things in place to help you guys out with government contracting. If you want to know if you're ready for government contracting or not, you can visit govconcheatcode or codes.com. Come over here, take the assessment. Yes, you see right here, you can take the assessment and based off your answers, uh, we'll direct you on where we think that you should be inside of our peer money program to best help you in aligning yourself to win government contracts. If you'd like some freebie information, you can actually click the link below the assessment and I have some freebies there that you can take advantage of as well as some paid things. Once again, that is govconcheatcodes.com. If you believe that you are ready for government contracting, well, puremoneygovcon.com, puremoneygovcon.com, you can access my one-year course. 
You'll be inside of the program for a total year. This is the back office that you'll get access to all of these videos. I have tons of training, useful links, as well as every last Monday of the month, we have a live Zoom call so you're able to ask your questions. And one of my favorite things is you get a private group chat here that you could talk to myself, um, other minority contractors just like yourself and get your questions answered. But if you want to get involved with this, visit puremoneygovcon.com and get registered. If you would like to get into my seven-day challenge, we just got finished with the seven-day challenge uh, last week. Um, you're more than welcome to sign up for the seven-day challenge by going to puremoneygovcon.com forward slash seven-day challenge. We will be starting it back in 17 days. So once again, if you'd like to get involved with that you can jump on that challenge and take advantage of it. We do teach government contracting in seven days at the 101 level here at the seven day challenge. So if that is you take advantage of that. Well, let's get into what we got here for. Oh, one last thing. Sorry. If you know about marketing, if you want to market your business, well, I do have a program, my Netflix subscription, I actually teach you exactly how to market your stuff online, how we've been able to generate revenue on YouTube, Instagram, gain our entire followings. This is cheaper than Netflix and it's guaranteed to save you more time than Netflix plus make you more money. If you'd like to get involved with that, puremoney.club, you can get registered for that. But let's get into the sauce now. Can I make some money without no money? Don't forget, make sure that you are hitting that like button, that subscribe button, share this information out with other minority entrepreneurs, and put your contact information. Who are you? Where are you from? What do you do? Put that down there in the chat feature here on YouTube. Once again, we'll never know who is reading through this stuff and how you guys can work together. Tony, what's going on, man? Tony said money, old money, gots to get my hands on some money. That's what I'm talking about. We do talk about money over here, guys. All right, let's see. Who else do we have out here? Shaw, vending sources, vending machines, office supplies, and janitorial services located in the DMV. All right, there we go. If you guys are in the vending business, we can partner together. Hey, I just want to say this. This is how I need you guys to, to start to think, and it's going to help with this topic today of uh, can you get government contracts with no money? So I just showed how Shaw has vending machine services. And I know there's vending machine services all around the world. Like uh, Clubhouse has helped expand people's mind into getting vending machines. Uh, it wouldn't have been my niche that I got into, um, but, you know, it's for somebody. Now, what I need you to imagine is, well, first, I need you to stop saying I. Right. So uh, oftentimes when we look at business, everything is about I. That's that's just what the nature of the beast. That's how they taught us uh, is through I. So you get these vending machines and you're like, yo, I have three vending machines. I have five vending machines. I make such and such per month. Now, what if you solve the bigger problem, Shaw? What if you paid attention to somewhere that needed 200 vending machines. See, now your mind has to change because if it stays in the I format, you're going to be thinking about, I have to have enough money to get 200 vending machines. And that's just not true. You have to know some other people that got vending machines, or you have to know some other people that have money to get the vending machines. And if you put together, I don't know, um, 200 vending machines, what if we do it 50 a piece, you need four people. If you do it 25 a piece, what is four, 25, you need eight people to get 200 vending machines. So now in my mind, I'm saying, okay, well, I don't want to get uh, more deeply involved than eight people. So that's eight people with 25 machines. I now need to focus on eight people that have 25 or more machines. If somebody comes up short five machines, I don't want to work with them. We're just not compatible yet. I'm specifically looking for eight people. And trust me, when you start to focus like that, now you can quickly find eight people that got 25 or more vending machines. 
You put the team together, and now, Shaw, I got 200 vending machines. You have access to 200 vending machines. You have a resource of 200 vending machines because you put all the pieces together. So now my mind would stop looking at projects for one or two vending machines, and now I'm looking for projects that's going to supply 200 vending machines, and I'm going to get a piece off of every vending machine overnight like that. So... This is just a little example of things that you could do when you ain't got no money, right? I just put that together. Technically, Shaw could not have any vending machines, and instead he could just find all eight, and he's just the management of the project. No money is needed right there because the people with the vending machine already put out all the money. You're just now going to do the sale, and I'm telling you, man, people don't know how to sell. That's a guaranteed fact. But... Welcome, Shaw. David, my man, what's going on? Pleasure having you here. Wesley, manufacturing, metal, fabrication, prototypes. Hey, ain't nothing like some manufacturing. Come on now. Y'all better be in, in tune with our manufacturers out here. Uh, can you still be part of the Facebook group if you're not in the course? You can be in my Pure Money Legacy Facebook group, but you can't be in my government contracting Facebook group. Uh, Pure Money Legacy, absolutely. Um, H-Town, Dragon the Wagon. Uh, da, 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 re rise from the DMV here trying to figure it out. What's going on with you? Well, this is the place to figure it out. Chris, what's going on? Chris from Boston. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Uh, that's S dot from apex ventures league LLC. What's happening with you? We got legacy impact tech. What's up? Ain't nothing like uh tech and event planning. With the digital services. I mean, I like your logo right there as well. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Wesley's from Detroit as well, guys. If you guys are out there in the Detroit area, make sure y'all tap in with each other. Ah, yeah, Shaw said facts. BCPS has contracts on the EMA website. See? Hey, solve these bigger problems, man. That's what it's all about. Also, Legacy is from Dallas, Texas. Oh, man. I know y'all happy out there, the Dallas fans and beat the Giants. Whatever. We ain't going to get it. All that. Anyways, I appreciate you guys again for tuning in here. Once again, if you're on Clubhouse and you would like to see what we're talking about, you can click that link at the top. Join us over here on YouTube, or you're more than welcome to stay right there on Clubhouse. But in the meantime, while you're there, hit that square in the bottom corner. Share this room out so other people can find us, preferably minority business owners. If you're on YouTube, Make sure you're hitting that like, that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date when we do open up these rooms. You guys, I just want to give every one of the followers, whether you're watching this on replay or you're here on live right now, give you guys some kudos. Hold on. Where's my where, where's my stuff? at? Hey, man, I got to give my followers some kudos because uh, you guys have been doing the damn thing. I asked you guys to hit the subscribe button. I asked you guys to share this information out. And you guys have been doing it. Uh, our subscribers, it's almost gone up a thousand people in a week. So, uh, again, kudos to you guys. We couldn't do it without you all. You guys are answering to the call. And I thank you all. I truly do. But keep doing that because we got to catch up, man. We got to catch everybody. But again, today's mission, man, we're talking about Ken. We win government contracts without no money. I want to ask you that question before I get started. Do you believe that you can win government contracts without no money? I want you to put a yes in the comments if you believe that you can do it. I want you to put a no in the comments if you don't believe that you can do it. And trust me, there is no right or wrong answer to this. I just want to see which way are you thinking when that question pops up. Can you win government contracts without any money? Do you believe you can do it or not? Put a yes or no in the comments. Once again, there is no right or wrong answer to this. Okay. Okay. We got a lot of yeses in there. Absolutely. Yeses. Okay. I must be teaching something. I must be teaching something to you guys. Now, there's a little trick here. I like to say yes and no. Okay. So that's why I said there was really going to be no right or wrong answer to this, because absolutely you can win a contract without any money, but you're going to need some money. That's why it's, it's no way around it. You're going to have to have money 
in order to supply this opportunity here. Uh, the government is not in the business of building a business. So what do, what do I mean by that? They're not going to give you money in order for you to build your business. And that's where a lot of people have things uh, uh, a little twisted, okay? Um, they say, hey, well, if I win uh, a contract to sell laptops to the government, you know, and it's $100,000, are they going to pay me the $100,000 and then I go buy the laptops? Well, no, that is that would be them giving you money to build your business. And again, they're not in that type of business. So, no, you're never going to get the money up front. Well, let me not say never. For the most part, you're not going to get the money up front. Okay? They're going to pay you on the back end. So, can you win the contract without any money in your pocket? The answer is yes. But you're going to need some money in order to get this contract handled. Now, here's some ways that we can go about this. This is why I'm saying you don't need any money. Okay? Because... Anytime you have a contract, we can go get money. Like money can always be obtained. Money is of abundance in this world. And the other kicker is, <clears throat> you know, how society is making us very scared of the situation that we're in right now. And it is true. Money is about to dry up. It's about to be uh, the, the cost to obtain money is about to be 10 times greater than it was before. Like two years from now, the cost to obtain money was damn near nothing. Uh, probably this time next year, the cost to obtain money is going to be outrageous. So there's a cost to obtaining money, but guess what? We're in business. So whatever it costs me to obtain money, I just got to know what the cost is because the customer is going to be paying the cost. So it just so happens that the government is my customer. So can you say, hey, um, you're paying my 7% uh, fee for me collecting money in order to do this? No, you can't have that in there. But if you just add the fee on top of your uh, your pricing, right? So if you know it's going to cost you 7% on $100,000 in order to obtain the $100,000, at worst case scenario, your pricing needs to be 8% higher because now you cover the 7% loss plus you get a percentage um, payment. Now, I wouldn't do that type of deal. I'm just giving throwing numbers out there so you guys can see it. But also at the same time, you may have to do your first four or five deals like that where you are, are only getting 1% profit, 4% profit because you ain't got no money. <laughs> if you listen, if you don't have no money, you won't hold no terms. You have no power. Money is power. This is why I keep trying to explain to everybody. You have to earn money faster. Here in America, when you ain't got no money, you have no power. I don't really care what everybody's talking about, about all this other stuff of emotions and whatnot. Money is power in America. You said America is a, a, a communistic country. Capitalism. I mean, capitalistic. I say communist. Capitalistic country. We're about capitalism. So, damn it, let's capitalize. So, in the beginning, with no money. We're going to take deals that we're probably not going to earn as much profit on because we got to pay people to obtain money. So once we can think about this, what are ways that we can go out here to get money? Well, uh, you can get a factoring company. I believe I seen someone say that in a chat down here. Let me see if I can find it. OK, here we go. My man, War Dog Survivor. War Dog, what's up? You can get factoring companies. OK, you get the contract in your hand, you can go find a factoring company and they're going to charge you to factor this contract. Uh, you can get an SBA loan. All right. This is why, again, I tell you guys multiple times you need to build the relationship with the SBA. The SBA, like, that's the program. It's the Small Business Administration. They have loan programs to help people getting started in business. Once again, you need to look at everybody's terms, though. I'm not telling you who got the best stuff or whatnot. 
You need to read just like the contracts that I tell you. You need to read the terms of the loan so you can make the best decision for yourself. Do not just take anybody's word. This is your damn livelihood. This is your future. We do not take words for people. We damn sure don't just take words for people when it comes to money. And I'll tell you guys why I'm so uh, passionate about what I'm saying right here, because I f***ed up in the beginning. When I got started, I didn't have any money. None. I mean, I had like $4,000 in my bank account coming out of college, but I didn't have no real money. I didn't have money to pay a payroll. So what did I do? I had to think outside of the box. I went to the SBA. The SBA like, hey, fool, like you ain't never had no contracts before, bro. You don't even know nothing about business. We ain't giving you, you no damn loan. Are you crazy? Like, I'm like, man, okay. Well, the time is ticking because this contract is right here. And I, I, I have to get a staff on board in order to make this happen. I didn't know anything about factoring companies at the time. So I didn't even think about reaching out to any uh, companies that could factor the deal. So no, I didn't go that route. What did I do? I went in my cell phone. I went in my cell phone. I reached out to all my friends, the friends that I partied in the club with that we used to pay four or $5,000 for a section for that we really didn't have. But somehow we found out how to get that money. I hit them up and I said, yo, if everybody gave me just $5,000 a piece, that would give me enough money in order to front payroll for three months. And I promise you guys, after three months is over with, I can give each one of you all a 20% return on the money that you gave me. I got zero messages back from every one of them. So I couldn't go that route. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I, where am I about to get this money from? So again, I had to think outside of the box again. How many of you all own a house? If you own a house, I want you to put a yes in the comments. If you don't own a house, I want you to put a no in the comments. Once again, how many of you all own a house? If you own a house, put a yes in the comments. If you do not own a house, put a no in the comments. And it's cool if you don't own a house or if you do. See, we got to get in the habit of not beating ourselves up because we're not doing something that society say. We be scared to say we don't own a house because every goddamn person you see talk about like, yo, if you don't own a house, uh, you should feel some type of way. It's Hey, if you ain't there to own a house, yet, you just ain't there. But we're going to start getting educated so we could do these type of things. Everybody does need to have some form of real estate ownership, but you don't feel belittled because you ain't got it yet. That person that's talking crazy, they was at one point that they didn't have it either. The only reason you don't have it because you don't know yet. And it's okay that you don't know yet. It's a problem, though, if you don't go seek the information. You must seek information to become better. It's not just going to fall in your lap. So if you're just sitting there being complacent, just thinking that the world's going to just change for you one day, then yeah, that's your fault. But if you're trying to seek the information to become a real estate owner, to own your own house, then don't beat yourself up because you just ain't ready yet. We're going to get there. That's why I'm here. I'm going to teach you how to make this money a whole lot faster because guess what? What I don't want you to do is pay for no goddamn house for 36 years like these real estate agents be talking about doing. Because if I pay for a house for 36 years, I just bought three houses. So, no, I'm okay with you not owning the house right now so we can put some money in your pocket and you can start paying these things cash cowboys. You know what I'm saying? You could do a whole lot more with cash because money is power. Now, what I realized is I didn't have no money. Wasn't nobody trying to give me no money. Wasn't no loans coming. My friends around me didn't want to give me money. They would give me money for bottles but not business. They would give me money for other things that I can't say on the Internet but not business. So it just so happened that I bought a house when I graduated out of college. Thank God I didn't know what I was doing. I just accidentally had it. I purchased a house that most people wouldn't have got. I got it in a foreclosure. It needed some work on it. Well, at the time that I got it for a foreclosure, I believe I paid $114 for it. 
I did some repairs on it with YouTube, got in there, did it myself, had air leaks in it. I mean, all types of stuff was going on with that house. But it was mine. And I did some research before I just purchased the house. I didn't just get it with emotions. I went and I looked down at the economic development, which each one of your counties have, each state, each local government has an EDC, economic development. You don't have to guess about what the hell is about to go on around you. This is what I be trying to explain to people. We don't have to guess about stuff. You don't have to guess about what's about to happen in your local community in the next 10 years. They already wrote it out. It's located at your economic development. So I went down and looked at the economic development. What was the plans for this area in the next 10 years? Well, I looked at where they plan to build in the next 10 years, where they plan to revitalize the area. And I said, let me find a foreclosure over there. I ain't had no money. I'm just taking a guess of this thing. You know what I'm saying? I found out that you could get an FHA loan where you ain't really got to put down no money, but you could get a house. And I was tired of being in my people's house because I would get drunk at night and I want to come back in at three, four in the morning. I don't want to stumble in their house. I wanted to stumble in my own. So I learned about the FHA loan. You had to go sit your ass down at a program. They taught you something about saving or whatnot. You had to put a little money to the side and then all of a sudden they help you finance a house. So I got the house. And then the business came. I paid $500 for the business and I didn't have no money in order to run the business. Couldn't get it from nowhere because I'm fresh in this. All of a sudden I realized with real estate, there's something called equity. I went and got the equity out of my house. I was in that house for a year and some change before I started my business. My house at the time had a hundred. I bought it for one fourteen. At the time, the value of the house was at one eighty two, I believe, somewhere around that nature. I had a thirty five thousand dollar loan, I believe, that they gave me out of there, thirty five forty somewhere around there, and that was the only loan that I could get. I go back and I crunch the numbers, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to be struggling, but I think I can make it. Well, see, when it comes to the service side of the house of government contracting, you're going to need money. You should not play around with government contracting on the service side and you ain't got no money. You do not want to do that because employees, let me tell you this, employees do not want to hear that you did not pay them. That's the last damn thing that they want to hear come out of your mouth is that you do not have money to pay them when you told them you would. Now, I advise you all, if you are going to go to the service side of the house, especially if you're short on money, you're just getting started out, you should pay your employees on the 15th and the 31st of every month. This will give you a two-week window. Actually, it's going to give you a four-week window in the beginning. As if somebody comes on on the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, all the way up before the 15th, um, they don't have no time for you to pay them. So they got to do that two weeks in the hole. They got to put their time in in order for you to have something to charge against. And everybody knows this. You know this going to work. Everybody knows this going to work. I need your mind to shift we now got to shift in business and money because honestly, as a business owner, it really should be about pushing money, not doing the work as the visionary to the business. Your hands can't be producing the solution. So I need to be able to shift in the business mindset to push this money. And I can push this money if I got it. But if I pay out everybody every Friday, I ain't got a damn thing. So, no, I don't pay every Friday. I ain't there yet. I ain't Lockie, Martin, Booz Allen, and all of them. So instead, we do the 15th, the 31st. Anybody who comes on board has to do two weeks in the hole, which allows me to get two weeks before I even got to remotely think about paying somebody, which gives me another two weeks because they're not going to get paid until the 31st because I only pay on the 15th and 31st. So that gives you a four-week window to collect money. 
instead of paying it out every Friday. Not only this, when you get nice with this and you start making money, you'll understand that in four weeks, okay, you can take money and you can invest it and flip that bad boy 6%, 8%, 12% within four weeks. And then you pull it out, pay the people, and now you've made 12% off of the money before you had to exchange it. And you ain't even got to pay taxes. And then we do it all over again. So, yeah, I like to hold my money so I can make that money have babies. Your money should be having babies in these streets. So every pay period, we're looking at the money making an 8 to 12% return before we pay payroll. This is why we don't want to just give money out every Friday. This is exactly why the bank does not have, like if you try to go to the bank and get out more than $10,000, they ain't got it. They ain't got it because they flipping your money. They weren't expecting you to come up there and ask for $50,000. They didn't want you to do that because they need to flip this $50,000. You need to have your mind in the exact same way. I don't just want to give away money. I want to operate how the big boys are operating. If you just operate how they operate, your life will change. You don't have to have the billion dollars in order to operate like a billionaire. If you start operating like a billionaire, you'll gain a million a whole lot faster. See, most people want to study millionaires. I don't study no goddamn millionaires. There's too many of them. I've never liked to do what everybody does. If everybody's doing it, something's wrong with it. Well, everybody keeps saying it's a couple billionaires in the world, but they don't follow their strategies. Instead, they may open up a room and talk about what billionaires would do and ain't nobody on the floor a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? So you can't possibly tell me what a billionaire would do. These are your views and opinions. Instead, I'll go pick up the billionaire's books and read their own views and opinions. I don't need you to translate it because chances are you're going to translate it with emotions because you've never done a billion dollars in activity. So you possibly can't like you can't convert his words. So just read the book and do it for yourself. And then all of a sudden you'll realize that you're taking billionaire activities and millions will be sitting in front of your face in those huh? So I didn't have any of this money. I went out. I got the home equity line of credit. Guys, I started paying this stuff um, payroll during Thanksgiving time. I didn't know about holidays, man. Like I got hit up. I, I tell everybody I had to eat rice and beans for months. I had to turn the electricity off. It was this time of the year getting cold. I had to turn the heat off because I couldn't afford to pay it. I needed to wait for the government to reimburse me because I told you in the beginning, the government does not pay you to build a business. I was the business owner. I had to figure this out for myself. But what I wasn't going to do is tell the government I ain't have no money. Are you crazy? Let me tell you guys, if the government finds out that you got a contract and you can't fund these opportunities, that's illegal. I'm just telling you right now. There's an opportunity when you win that contract that you could say, no, I don't accept it. Right. You need to tell the government that if you know that, hey, I've tried my all and I just, I can't get the funding to get this thing. Do not accept that opportunity. Go talk to the contract officer and let them know, look, man, I made a mistake. I ain't accepting that opportunity. Because if you accept that opportunity and they find out that you got something that you could not fund, of course, there always could be jail time or fines or something of that nature. But forget the jail time or the fines or whatever. Like they probably ain't going to do that. But what they will do is put your name bad in these streets. And the government is very small. If your company's name goes bad in the government streets, I always say you should just burn the company up and start over. I mean, you can start over, but that company needs to just get burnt. The name is bad. It's, it's a wrap for that. You're not fixing it. Now, again, I'm not telling you this to scare you. I'm telling you this for information that we're going to align our ducks before we even go down this opportunity. Now, when it comes to products, again, I'm not concerned about money and products. 
Like, guys, one of your biggest funding opportunities should be credit cards. Stop using the credit cards to eat up food and to buy clothes, the Balenciagas, and to go get these trips. Use these credit cards to buy $200,000 worth of Max. Use these credit cards to buy $30,000 worth of TVs. And now all of a sudden, that $30,000 that you spent on that credit card, one, I keep hearing this all the time. I always laugh at this stuff because, you know, people not listening. They're letting their emotions drive them. People that need credit help. In my mind, listen, first of all, you don't have a credit problem. You got a money problem. You can fix your credit right now if your ass makes some more money. Make more money than you're currently making because you over leveraged the money that you thought you had. Your credit issue is you're not making enough money faster. So when you now dishing out money that you don't even know how to make faster, you just pay somebody $1,500 to quote unquote fix your credit. Well, you don't even know how to make up that $1,500. You need to learn how to make some more money. Stop paying these goddamn people to repair something that you you broke. You broke it. And the reason that you broke it is because you spent too much money. You do not have a credit problem. You have a budgeting problem. You do not know how to budget the money that is in your pocket currently at this moment, number one. And number two, you don't know how to make more money faster. You can fix your credit problem immediately overnight if you start making money faster and if you budget the money that you got. All of us can make money faster right now tonight if you look at your bills. It's a guaranteed fact. I know everybody on here, including myself, we're paying something that we don't need to be paying we're spending money in things that we don't need to be spending money on. And if you take a look at it, if you budget it out immediately, if you subtract it, you made yourself an extra hundred dollars. And if you do that consistently for the next 12 months, you just made yourself an extra couple thousand dollars. Now you need to take that money and invest it in the education on how to make money faster. And just like that, you fix your credit issues. If you follow this path, it makes you all the money in the world. So now I'm over here. If you take these credit cards and you purchase these high ticket products with the government, right? Now, all of a sudden, the credit card companies and everybody starts seeing large amounts of cash come through. You're paying the bills off because we ain't eating the money up. We ain't driving the money. We ain't traveling with the money. We ain't getting Balenciaga to impress nobody. These fancy hills to make sure I'm stunting on another female. We ain't doing none of that. We're going to pay our bill. We're going to protect our cash. And then we're going to do the next deal again. What's eventually going to happen is all of a sudden you got money in your bank account, in your savings account, that now the bank respects you, one, and two, since you use your credit card, you got status now. All of a sudden, you got elite privileges with American Express. You got elite privileges with Delta. And you're traveling on points. That's how we use these credit cards. I don't know about how anybody else talking about this credit. Look, I'm not a believer that you should just be going out here and getting credit cards and loans and you don't know how to make no damn money. You got to pay the money back. This is the best place to do this. You ain't got to guess of how I'm going to make the money back. The government. You just got to not trick the money once you get it. And I'm stressing this point of tricking the money once you get it because government contracting is just like professional sports. These athletes get money and they trick it away. What you think? going Like, we ain't no different. Athletes are people. People are people. We put this money in your hand with government contracts. What you going to do? Trick it away. I'm telling you from experience. I almost killed myself three times from tricking away a million dollars at the age of 25. Nobody told me what to do. Nobody told me about investing, moving money. I didn't have anybody around me saying, yo, you should go get some real estate. You should pay attention to your taxes. No, you shouldn't go out there and party and eat your money up and go to the club. 
travel all around the world. I had a hell of a time. Don't get it twisted. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> but man, I could have been 10 times further than I am right now. If I would have respected money. So again, can you win government contracts with no money? The answer is yes, but you're going to need money. You could take the easier route with products, which is I advise every one of you to do if you ain't got no money. If you ain't got no money, I should be looking to sell products to the government. I should not be looking at the service side of the house unless I'm teaching, right? I'm training because then that's you doing the training. Chances are you're going to train on something. So you ain't got to pay people out of the pocket. You could be the person that uh, got to go in the hole. That's fine. As long as you are the individual that got to go in the hole, that is okay. But if you start bringing on employees, you do not bring on employees without having access to money. That is a no, no, we will not do that. So how do I get this ball rolling? Well, Travis, I ain't got no money. There's two sites, Sam.gov or Unison. If you're in your local state, they got opportunities for you right there. Your local state government got tons of product sales for you and it ain't, probably going to pop up on the site. You need to get on their vendors list. Well, let's take a look. Sam.gov. Because remember, I ain't got no money. Right? I'm going to contract opportunities. Advanced search. And I told you, I ain't got no money. So why the hell would I look for proposals? <laughs> One, you said you ain't got no money, so... uh if you don't know how to write a proposal, you got to pay somebody to write a proposal. So you ain't got no money. So let's just get past that. Instead, I'm going to come down here to uh, notice types. And what is the notice type that I need? Sorry, I didn't mean, well, yeah, I guess I could do notice type. But what is the opportunity that I don't need no money for? Well, where is my stuff? You're going to look for request for quotes. If I just need to send in a quote, I guess they don't have that right here. Hmm. If I need to just send in a quote, then there's no proposal side to this thing. All right, contract award details. I'll find it under there. See, and I use software, guys, just FYI. That's why I always get stuck uh, looking through this stuff. Because I really just use software. Software helps me out tremendously. And I advise you all to use softwares, too. Contract award, place of performance, set aside, product or service. Uh, man, they don't let me just search for RFQ. That can't be right. Read solicitation sources, saw the word, notice, justification. Man, this is crazy. Well, I don't have time to look through each one of these. I can just look through one of these and see what a, a RFQ is going to look like. All right. So anyways, I'm looking for an RFQ. Like, this is an RFQ, bearings and sales kits. Like, I know this ain't no proposal. You can't you can't write this out as a proposal. It's just, it's, it's products. All right. Um. So what does it say? Request for quote. OK, so now I have an opportunity here because the government's going to tell me exactly what they want. So here you go. Description. They need bearings and seal kits. They need one item um, bearings and seal kits. What I'm going to do is take exactly what they say for anchor and windless 20 vessels in USGC, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. All right. I'm coming right over here. I'm searching Instagram. Yeah, put the end. Premium bearings and seals up. Oh, this looks like it. Oh, no, that's for the actual United States something. Need to find my, my bad. I got too many screens. All right, anchor, windless, da 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 da. Oh, this is in Gov Drive something. I guess I should read this stuff a little bit more. Looks like somebody else is looking for that opportunity too. Um, da 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 da. 
Oh, this is the actual ship. I need to read a little bit more. Thank you, one of those vessels. All right, so I'm going to take this part number. See how you guys got to play around with this stuff? And then I'm going to come back and just take to the vessel right there. Oops. Let's see if we can find something there. I'm pretty sure them ads are something that I can look into. Um, now, these parts are probably right here. I'm just, I'm just don't have time to look into more of it. But I'm pretty sure these parts are right here on their site. So, uh, if I see this site. First thing I'm doing is I'm coming down to the bottom of the site because consumers look at the top of the site. Business owners look at the bottom. All right. So I'm looking for my words, sellers, resellers, certificate, uh, affiliates, um, something that we could partner. All right. So uh, commercial accounts. There we go. See, so they don't use any of the other words that most people would use. But I seen something said commercial accounts. Well, damn it, I'm with commercial. I don't want to do what the consumers are doing. All right, so let me figure out how do I get this commercial account. I go through the process, figure out how I get commercial account. It's probably like Home Depot. Like you get the uh, uh, a business card with Home Depot, you get a little better rate, things of that nature. All of these sites work the same way. Every business is operating the same way. It's just you haven't started operating your business like this yet. All right, so again, we're just looking through here and we're looking for RFQ type situations. I would not look for the actual, I got too many, I got too many pages in my bad. I would not look for actual proposal opportunities cause I ain't there yet. Now, let me give you the other side of the house. Cause I like to give you both. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just going to count it out and say that you got to go one way. Now let's say I ain't got no money still, but damn it, Travis, I really, really want to get into like cybersecurity. Like I know about cyber could be my passion or hell. It ain't even got to be your passion. You Travis, I heard there's a lot of money in cybersecurity. I want to get involved with cybersecurity. I'm trying to set my stuff up for the future. I heard cyber is the way to go, but Travis, I ain't got no money. Can I still win these contracts? Yes. But now you're going to have to strategize again. Now, see what I would tell you to do is don't go after these contracts yourself. Remember, we're going to release the I word. He came to me like, I want to do. I want to. I, I, I. We're going to get rid of that word I. And now we're going to say, okay, where's the cybersecurity opportunities at? So now instead of me thinking about I, first I'm going to go find the problem. Okay? So, again, it's probably going to pull me up old contracts, but it's okay. I'm just trying to uh, show you guys something. All right. So if I go find the problem for cybersecurity, okay, one that I know about, I'm like, oh, yo, I really know about that. But again, I ain't got no money. So just take this as an example. I'm not really going to read through this stuff. Okay. So I find the opportunity here. And again, Travis ain't got no money, but I really want to get my feet wet in this business. I now have to go, okay, well, I got to start doing some research because I need to put together the team and I need to become a value add to a team that can solve this problem. And I get paid for finding them an opportunity. We call it consulting. So, yes, I'm going to become a consultant, technically. And instead of me begging for work, because that's not what real consultants do. Instead, we go find a problem. And then we put the pieces together of the people who can solve the problem. And what we just did is we became their business development for free for now. Because I ain't got no money. So, the chances of me charging them to be business development and consultant is going to be slim to none. But the odds of me bringing them opportunity and they win that they pay me my commission 
is going to be pretty damn good. I've never in the hit. Well, let me let me not say that. Most good people have no problem paying you if you bring them in money. So if I didn't have any money, which I didn't, I'm now going to look right here and say, okay, let me find a $2 million opportunity, a $5 million opportunity. Now, see, I know that scares some people like, hold on, well, wait a minute. I ain't got no money. Like I can't, I can't do a million dollar opportunity. Hell, I've never even done a hundred thousand dollar opportunity. Once again, you're saying, I, I told you get rid of I. Instead, I'm saying, here's a million dollar problem. Let me put together a million dollar team. Just because you haven't done it doesn't mean that other people can't solve a million dollar problem. There's tons of people out here. I just told you guys, I don't follow millionaires because there's too many of them. I follow billionaires. You can find millionaires and just open your door. It's people out here just because you may be scared of these big numbers. It's tons of individuals out here who ain't. So the issue now becomes how often are you opening your mouth? When I say opening your mouth, how often are you talking? So that person at the man upstairs has already put on this earth to help you can hear you. Now, all of a sudden, none of these issues, none of these opportunities look too large. Because I'm just finding the person who can handle it. Now the question is, did I give myself enough time? The response is due October 18th. I got to now look at the calendar. It's September 29th. Do I have enough time to put together a million dollar team? If I don't have enough time to put together a million dollar team for this opportunity, I'm going to go find the next opportunity. And the reason I'm doing a million, two, three, four million dollar team is because I ain't got no money. And if I can get 2%, 3%, one and a half percent of two million dollars, then God damn it, I just put myself in a prime position. Instead of playing around with these crumbs, $10 here and there. Uh-uh. I'm doing big boy things. I told you I follow what billionaires do, not millionaires. And I damn sure don't follow what thousandaires do. I'm telling you guys the quickest way to flip your wealth is to find the bigger problem. And if you find the bigger problem and it takes you six months to put everything together, if the problem pays you out half a million dollars, was it worth six months? If you think that's worth six months, I want you to put a fire emoji in the chat. If you think it's worth six months of no money, I mean, six months of hard work. And when I say hard work, I mean, you actually getting in the streets. If you think six months of doing this activity to get you half a million dollars is worth it, put a fire emoji in the chat. If you don't put a fire emoji in the chat, I believe in your mind. This is why you can't make it. Because you still scared. You still ain't understanding what I'm talking about. And that's okay. I need you back here next Thursday. And we're going to try it out again. You're going to hit the like button. You're going to hit the subscribe button. You're going to take your ass over to TravisKnows.com. Scroll down to the bottom. And you're going to follow me on my other social media channels. And you're going to keep tapping into me until I get that goddamn mind of yours to change and understand what I'm saying. Until you start dropping these fire emojis in this chat. Because at the end of the day, I need you to believe. I'm already here. You know what I'm saying? It don't hurt me. Travis is good. But Travis want to help out his people. And guess what? I'm not trying to help out everybody either. So don't think that I'm trying to help out the whole community because I don't care enough about the whole community. Because the whole community don't care about themselves. But what I do care about is the person that dropped the fire emoji down there in the chat. That's the one that I want to work with. Anybody else, I'm okay with. You don't have to like me. I still love you, though. You know what I'm saying? You can talk about me. You can talk about my style. I'll say that. It's okay. It's okay, man. Even people hated Jesus. I'm okay with it, man. I'm on my own mission. You should be on your own mission too. 
I don't need you on my mission. I need you on your mission. I just happen to be a person that the man upstairs put in the path to help you along your mission, but you're not on my mission. You on your own mission. Find out what the hell your mission is so you can execute it. It's that simple. Part of your mission today was to find out how you can get involved with government contracts with no money. This was part of your mission. If you got some money in your pocket right now, you don't have to worry about not having money to do government contracts. Your ass need to start just doing government contracts with that money that you got. But I don't know why the man upstairs put me in front of you. It could have only been to teach you about government contracting and that you can do it. Other than that, I have no other reason why he has you here today. So since you are here today, transferring your time at this, then God damn it, start taking action. You don't have to believe me on anything that I'm saying. This is all public information. I didn't make up the industry. The industry been here before I got here and it's going to be here after I leave here. And guess what? I didn't write any rule or regulation to it, nor did anybody else on the internet. So since it's here, let's take advantage of it. Let's become some goddamn capitalistic pigs. Let's have that filthy money that they talk about. Like, I want to experience that filthy money. They talk about, yo, Amazon, uh, uh, Jeff Bezos, and all them, uh, Elon Musk, they got filthy money. Well, damn it, I want some filthy money. Call it filthy for me. I'm okay. I can take it. You know what I'm saying? I could take you calling me filthy rich and all those negative words. I am okay with it. Let me get it. But when you keep using negative words towards money, that's why you are not obtaining money. Cause you think it's negative. That's why you can't understand how to work with the world's largest customer. Cause you think the world's largest customer is negative. And you only think that because the people around you taught you that. And the people around you taught you that because the government was negative back in the day. The government did do all of those things back in the day. The government is still doing stuff right now at this point today. But guess what? Ain't nobody ever been able to control it. Guess what? The government ain't the real people that's doing it. It's the Fortune 500. By the time the government find out what happened, it's too late. They try to now clean it up. It's the people with the money that's causing the problems. And it ain't because money's bad. It's because evil people got money in their hands. Money never said that it was just going to nice people. The man upstairs never said that he was just going to bless nice people. The man upstairs said he blesses actions. So guess what? Evil people take actions too. <laughs> and you get to make the decision since you took good actions that was going to create wealth i'm going to give you the wealth for following these steps what were the steps believe it in yourself every day that the actions that you were going to take was going to help you go down the path of what you envisioned not what i envisioned what you envisioned for your life what steps did you take today to make yourself better an evil person can do those same methods and they do all the time and they get rewarded for that. You can do the same thing. Take the same steps. What are the steps? Believing in yourself, taking action every day. Now the difference is when you get blessed, you should be a nice person. You don't have to do the evil things that evil people do. You can now be the change factor for your area. But at the end of the day, I don't care evil or good. Both needed money. So now all of a sudden we're going to go obtain this money from the customer that got the most money in the world when we didn't have one single penny in our pocket. If you can focus for six months in this industry, what do I mean by focus for six months, man? Listen. Matter of fact, I was going to say it's getting cold outside. This is when people stay indoors, but that's a lie. Honestly, people go outside more when it's cold outside than when it's hot outside. They talk about, oh, this is the, the time of the season to dress up. This is the galas. Well, guess what? 
these galas and stuff, they cost a whole lot more money than a dude to hang outside during the summertime. So that just tells me that these people are looking to spend more money during the wintertime. So I'm telling you right now, if you want to make a sacrifice to change your life, you need to get rid of that goddamn gala this year. You need to get rid of that New Year's Eve bash. You need to tell somebody this Christmas, this Christmas right here, this ain't your Christmas. Like, I ain't got nothing for you this Christmas. It's okay. And you're going to tell them, hey, just this Christmas, I ain't got nothing for nobody. But next Christmas, I'm going to have something for everybody. And if anybody is mad at you for saying that, that you are trying to better yourself for this year going into next year, that's probably somebody that you should stop com uh, communicating with. I'm just telling you guys how to do this thing. Sometimes we got to get people from around us. They holding us back. And money is one thing that is holding everybody back. You have to respect money. The faster you learn to respect it, the faster you can obtain it. When you respect it over here with this customer right here, man, you can obtain it a whole lot fast. So I've told you guys multiple ways that you could go about this thing, winning government contracts without no money, consulting for the service-based side. If you want to stick to the service-based side of government contracting, you should become a consultant with no money. The only way for you to become a consultant is you need to learn government contracting now, right? So you could either go to free routes to learn government contracting and you could become part of the program. And guess what? The same exact way that I teach you to win contracts, all you do is you go do that shit for somebody else. Do it for a company that got the money. I'm teaching you how to win contracts. You just need to learn the principles. And now you go to a company that got all of their stuff together. And guess what? Nine times out of nine, they've never got awarded government contracts before. All you got to do is help them fill out the paperwork, get the company registered in SAM.gov with their local state, their local county or whatever. And just like that, you're now in position to win yourself government contracts. This simple, guys. But now the I word has to be gone. It's not about you. It's about that business that you just consulted for. Your eye is now theirs. You need to get them contracts. And trust me, if you can get them awarded contracts, you have just locked yourself in for money. Why the hell would a company let you go if you winning them money? <laughs> See what I'm saying? And again, you could do this for anybody, especially if you ask to do it for free. Yes, I'm going to be your business development for free, but if I win... Instead of me taking like 2% off the base year, I want like 14%. You know what I'm saying? My percentage just went up because you ain't been paying me to do this. So the regular consultant, you know what I'm saying? They may take this certain percentage, but I told you I'm going to do all this, what what they call it, pro bono or whatever that word is. They be saying, Look, I'm going to do this free for a little bit. But when you win these opportunities, my percentage is a whole lot bigger. And that's going to be signed on the contract between me and that business before I even get started researching these opportunities now if you know how to do this thing the pure money govcon way if you know how to cheat and you know how to use this software you would already know exactly how to align a business to consult with them before you even sat down at the table you would have all the deals that they need sitting right there in your google drive so once they go ahead and sign the contract you could put 50 million dollars on their table and ask them which opportunity you want to go after because those are the opportunities I'm about to focus in on because I need you to win. The faster you win, the faster I get paid. The faster I get paid, the faster I can grow. It is literally this simple. But the mind has to take a shift. If you want to do another way to make a lot of money with no money with government contracts. I hope our people in Florida are good right now. But hey, at the end of the day, it's money to be made. Natural disasters happen every year. They're going to continue to happen every year. They ain't never going to stop. Well, they ain't really got a lot of time to go through this vetting process during natural disasters. I mean, y'all see it. Floods happening all left and right. Like, they don't have time to go through proposal processes. You could walk yourself into millions of dollars right there during natural disasters. 
All you got to do is not get emotional about what you see on TV. See, people on TV talk about, oh, the government should have did this. Oh, they should have had this prepared. They should. Well, go prepare it. You could be the person to get paid to go do it. You don't have to just sit back in rooms all day and bitch about stuff. Instead, you could provide the solution. And you could open up rooms, you could go on your social media, and you could ask, hey, does anybody have access to this? Because I realized the minute that I find two people that got the access to a problem that's in a natural disaster, we can go solve it for $4 million. See, we ain't got to complain all the time. We can provide. What is that U word? I can't say that U word on here, but y'all know what that U word is. Yeah, I've been talking about the billions of dollars going towards that U word. You want to make yourself a lot of money with no money? You could be solving that U word problem right now. See, if you wasn't so emotional about some things that people don't know what they're talking about, they keep talking about, oh, all this money going to the U word. No, it's going to American businesses. It's going to American businesses to supply services and products to the U word. So instead of bitching and complaining, you could have actually been there supplying the products and the service to the U word. And since it's in an urgent situation, they actually got to, you know, handle it right now. So now all of a sudden you could go find a partner who has all of the products or the services that you want to go after. You win the opportunity, they supply it. Now, if you find a partner like this, here's the beauty about this. Partners in that situation, they'll probably give you a net 30. What do I mean? If you have some medic kits, I'm just making this up. If you have some medic kits that they're purchasing, I don't know, a million dollars worth of medic kits. You find the company that can create them. And they know about this because they've already supplied it before. They've already done it before. You go to them like, yo, can I get a net 30 on the product? Like, look, here's the, here's the agency. You see the opportunity. Like, I'm going to get the money from the government and then pay you. Well, they like, cool, we'll do a net 30. They'll front you the product. It's all like the drug game to me. They'll front you the product. You need to give them the money back once you get rid of the work. If you don't pay them the money back, well, it's just like the drug movies. Don't pay, don't pay the money back and see what happens. They ain't going to kill you or nothing, but they're going to kill your credit. They're going to kill everything that you got going on because you ain't pay that money back. So now we got that option. Net 30 for products. Not saying that every company is going to do it. But that's an option. You got to weigh all your options out around here in order to generate this revenue for yourself. These are multiple ways that you can go about winning contracts with no money. But remember, we're going to have to get some money. Or the company, if it's manufacturing, going to let us borrow the products that we're going to repay in 30 days. Also, a lot of these opportunities, too. You can, um, man, what's the name of it? It's like the titling company. I can't think of the name of it. But uh, essentially what could happen is uh, you get the attorneys involved uh, where the government, instead of paying out your checking account, um, it goes to the attorneys. And then the attorneys divvy the money out to the respected parties. That's part of the deal. So now, again, the other party don't have to be concerned that you're going to run off with their money because you ain't even getting the money. Is going to uh, like this title agency, the title agency is collecting the money. And then just like a title agency does, they're going to pay everybody out that was part of that deal. And it's going to be written out in the contract who gets what already. So again, every time that account gets paid, that law service will divvy out that money. I can't think of the name off the top of my head of uh, how that operates, but you know, you can look it up. Just type that stuff in Google, how I just said, and it will pop up. So I hope that today that you guys have learned that you can get government contracts without no money. If you like this information, make sure that you are liking, make sure that you are subscribing to this channel. Tell somebody else, 
preferably another minority entrepreneur about what we got going on over here so they can stay updated to this information. Don't forget, if you want to join the program, puremoneygovcon.com. That is our one-year course. You can get started. If you want to stay up to date with anything that I got going on, travisknows.com. Travisknows.com. Got all of my social media handles on there. Uh, you can follow that and stay up to date when I do go live. I'm going to look through here, find a couple questions before I get out of here. There's a lot of comments, so uh, <laughs> hopefully I can find a few. Um, do, 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 do. Buy the investment. Come on, man. Come on, Larry. Larry, buy the investment property first and let the investment property pay for the primary residence. That's key. And let me tell you, man, if I could do anything back over again, uh, I would have took my FHA loan in the beginning. I mean, I've done well for myself now, but if I'm just getting started out in this thing, all the people who say it knows for the housing, great. Uh, what I would do is go get my FHA and find me a property that has uh, uh, four units or less. I believe that's what the FHA, um, four units or less. You stay in one unit because you do need to be living in there. Don't try to do no fraud or nothing like this. I, I am living in my investment property, so I'm going to live in one unit. I'm going to rent out the other three units. Those two units should pay for the mortgage. The third unit should be your profit. And if you do this for just two, three years, you'll have enough money to now do it all over again. And now all of a sudden, if you would focus in, uh, the younger you are, the better at this. If you ain't got no kids or nothing like that, even better. Okay. But if you do this for about nine years, you've just created wealth for yourself that honestly, you could just sit back, you know what I'm saying? Do your own thing, your money now making babies and you ain't never had no money to do it. Right? Cause you went, you kept going through the FHA. <laughs> I'm just telling you, but it's a smart way to build wealth for yourself. All right. Um, this would give me money for bottles, not in business. <laughs> yeah, they always give money for bottles. They don't never give money for business. <laughs> Knowledge is money. I appreciate you, Chantel. Don't forget, guys, make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button. Question on an office space lease on exactly how do I handle any property submitted by agents or brokers must be accompanied by written evidence. They're authorized. Yeah. So, I mean, you just you just said it. They must be accompanied by written evidence. Go get the written evidence. And that, that person is, uh, can be um, a responsible party to make decisions for the owner of the property. Um, they do it credit, business lines of credit. Um, yep. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. We got Reese in the house. How you doing, Reese? <laughs> government contracts, real estate, and cannabis. Hey, Antonio, man, I'm glad you said that. Um, this cannabis thing, and I hope YouTube don't kick me off or anything. I don't know what word I can say around this. Uh, we got to get involved in this space, man. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, we got some people, and I know some people who are leading the way, and... You just need to research on it. I'm not telling you to dump your money into it or nothing like this, but I'm watching these companies that don't look like us. I went out to California, man, and they're delivering a damn thing all up and down the road. You, They they got an app. You could just go in the app. They pop up the trunk right in your driveway. Like, everything is okay. And it's just, it baffles my mind because we still got people who are in jail doing 20, 30 plus years for this. And that gave you guys have to understand what happened here. And again, I'm not doing it, saying this to get emotional about it because it is what it is. I don't control the system. So I'm trying to figure out how do I compete with the system? Well, the system's now opening it up for business and we need to start understanding how to get our emotions out the way. And how do we get involved in the business before they take it over, which they're doing. Okay. And the reason that they can take it over so fast is because they locked up our best entrepreneurs. 
the best entrepreneurs who could figure out how to run this cannabis game, they're sitting inside and they won't let them out right now because if they did let them out, they would figure out how to take over this cannabis game. But in the meantime, they got the other parties out here who are figuring out how to take it over because they've now scared us away from this cannabis game. But what I'm telling you guys is if you're in a state that is legalized, you should be figuring out how to shake some hands and kiss some babies around this game because billions of dollars is getting moved right now and we ain't taking a part of it and i i don't i don't know how else to put it man i'm i'm trying to get myself involved in it but you know you do have to trade lightly you got to know the ins and outs especially if you're going to be de dealing with federal government contracting because it's not federally cleared but uh state government local government if it's okay in your state then it's good to go you know what i'm saying but nah, we can't just keep letting them take over this industry it's crazy man but anyways, I had to get that off my chest. STC, I appreciate you for being here. Active duty service member here. I appreciate you for your service. I always appreciate the people out here who are fighting for people like me who can't do it. I'm telling you right now, I appreciate you like no other. Um, let me see. Do we have any more down here? Oh, who's this right here? Mr. JJ King. I ain't seen you here before. I appreciate you for hanging out with me. Um, duh, 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 duh. And I'm going to check Clubhouse in a minute to see if there was a couple questions in there. We just going to hear <laughs> Yeah, just go ahead and get the course, Marcus. Just go ahead and get the course, man. One year, you'll be in with the game, man. We ain't going to – listen, I ain't letting nobody go in the course. We're going to be right here with you. So uh, that's the whole purpose of it, lasting for a year. I cannot teach you government contracting in 30 minutes, an hour, one video. It's just impossible. Um, but some people try it out. Um, applied information. Come on, man. We might need to put that on a shirt right there. Did I say that? Applied information is money. Somebody said it somewhere. I don't know where it went. There we go. Indentured rebel. Implied information is money. You guys got to apply the information that you're learning right now. You cannot be note hoarders. All right. You can't just take the money in. I mean, the information in that I taught you, write it down and expect you to learn it. You have to go take action in the information that you learned today. And any other day that you learn information, I'm watching right here from my house next to FedEx field. You down the street from me, Marcus. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, not glad it's FedEx field. You know, they, they struggling over there, but <laughs> I'm just joking, man. Pleasure to have you here. I once was a street capitalist. All right. I appreciate you, Antonio. Uh, uh, we, we all once were at some point. Now we need to become legal capitalists. You know what I'm saying? One thing that I love about this space, man, look, my whole family was in that game. You know, I watched them growing up. I told you some of the best entrepreneurs that I've ever seen. But what I realized is that they was too stupid to figure out how to do their same game legally. I'm teaching you guys how to do legalized drug dealing right here. That's what I see it as. That's why my whole thing is called pure money. Just like the drug game. This is pure money. This is legal. You mean to tell me that I could be a legal drug dealer here? Yes. And guess what? If you want to get involved with that game, the government's buying that too. They just, if you go look at USA Spending or FPDS and you put cannabis in there, you will see the federal government has been paying millions of dollars just to truck cannabis to a fire pit. Yeah, they've been loading up trucks, dumping it out for millions of dollars and burning it. That's on the federal side. So this money and cannabis has been moving for a very long time. So let's do it legalized. Uh, da, 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 da. Do you include teaching on unison in the course? I'm going to talk about it. It's pretty self-explanatory in unison. Click the button, find the pricing. <laughs> yeah, I mean... You know, and I say it like that because, guys, we we're, we put way too much thought into this stuff, man. It's literally read what it's asking you to do, find the uh, pricing for the different stuff, and then put your markup on it. Send it back. All right? Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me check my uh, clubhouse real quick, see if they had any quick questions in here. Again, I'm going to scroll real quick. I uh, need to book some time with you. If you want to book some time with me, you can go to TravisKnows.com. I have a uh, oh escrow. See, look, all these smart people down here. Y'all know the answers. Um, if you want to book some time with me, I got a consultation link on TravisKnows.com. I'll just give everybody a heads up. I do not answer DMs. So if you 
DM me. Don't get mad at me for not answering it. I'm telling y'all up front, I don't answer DMs because there's nothing that I can tell you in a DM that's going to teach you any information. So uh, we're wasting each other's time. So I just don't answer them. So uh, don't get upset. Just book the consultation link. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have the money to pay for a consultation link, if you don't have the money to get in one of my courses, that's why I told you to go to TravisKnows.com and follow me on all my social channels because you can turn on the bell, you can turn on the alarms, and you can ask me whatever question you want right there. And um, I'll answer it there. But when I'm on my time, I'm on my time, and it ain't answering DMs. All right? So do not DM me. Uh, help with getting started obtaining contracts. do 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 uh, go to testimonials page, outstanding services, uh, somebody else putting their stuff right here. Of course, get on my platform and promote your stuff. I dig it. Um, it's the easy route. But anyways, let me look back through YouTube. I think I've answered all the questions. I'm already starting here. Contract is lined up. AJ, you asked him a lot of questions, brother. Um, could my business start with product contracts for healthcare to get money before starting a service business? Absolutely. You could sell whatever you want. It could be a service or it could be a business. Um, it could be a service based business or it could be a product based business or it could be both. And I always say, if you're going to sell a product, you should think about the service that comes behind it. So for instance, if you're going to sell printers, well, these printers need to get serviced, so you need to think about that. Same thing. I'm looking. You said healthcare uh, products, so I would be thinking about healthcare equipment. You know, chairs, uh, wheelchairs, tables, um, computers, all of that stuff. Well, it all has to get serviced. So if I'm going to sell the product to the government, chances are the same customer that I sold the product to also will be the same customer that has the uh, service based side of that contract too so that could just be something in mind um why i say you should sell both you should do um product and service not saying that all the time it's going to be in the same house uh but it could be in the same contract shop right so if that person who buys the service um i mean buys the product maybe his partner or her partner um in the other side of the office buys the service which again is a small world and they could give a recommendation. They could just yell it across the hallway. Like, Hey, they do a good job for me. They'll do a good job for you too. So uh, you always want to make sure that you're looking at both sides of the house. I don't like to leave any side of the house empty. Um, let me see. I'm submitting contracts right now as we speak. Come on, salt. Submit them contracts. So I'm talking about. I love, I get excited when I see somebody hit the submit button. Can I modify the name of my business without changing the previous I-E-N? I believe you're saying E-I-N. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure you can. You got to talk. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that deep. I've never changed the name in a business before, honestly. I'd be lying to you if I said I know about it. If money is not the issue, what products would be your focus? Any product is making money. Yeah. Any product that I can figure out how to sell. And I'm going to get a good price on Tech, construction, I mean, health care. Just pay attention to the money flow. Follow the president and he'll tell you what products they're about to purchase. Hey, Travis, I can pull up, pull up Travis' page. Go to, go to TravisKnows.com. Go to the bottom. You'll see the link, Pure Money Legacy, or search for Pure Money Legacy. Um, Travis Knows page at all, only to Facebook. Go to www. Make sure you put in the www. www.travisnose.com. Oh, man, I got to stop slacking and get in the group. Got to get in the group. <laughs> I appreciate you, David. Truly do appreciate you, my brother. Uh, there has never been a time to be black man in America with grit and determination. Anything is possible. Let me tell you guys this. I like that comment right there. Because here's the thing. Um, uh. You never know. The next administration is going to take away everything that this administration did. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, well, that's if the, the R, R word comes in and becomes the next head of the administration. They're going to destroy everything that this administration did. And, I mean, honestly, that's what most administrations do. You know, other party comes in, they get rid of everything that the other party did before. 
So you need to take advantage of everything that's going on right now for minorities, uh, definitely for black people, because I don't know if it'll be like this in the next four years or the next three years, should I say, um, as well as, I mean, it could change in the next couple of years. So anytime these opportunities are available for us, we need to run with it. All right. But guys, I got to get up out of here. I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me again. Make sure if you guys want to get involved with anything that we got going on, TravisKnows.com. I'll go to this page again so you can see what it looks like. TravisKnows.com. Make sure you are putting www.TravisKnows.com and www. before any site that I say. But if you come here, if you scroll down to the bottom of TravisKnows.com, once again, you can find my social media channel. Somebody asked about the Facebook group. You come right down here. You see this Facebook group. It says Pure Money Legacy. If you go ahead and click on that bad boy, it's going to bring you over here into our Facebook group. Uh, if you get over in our Facebook group, when you get over in our Facebook group, uh, we do have our second annual Friends Giving coming up here in the Washington, D.C. area. This is our give back. Uh, if you are in the D.C. area and want to come to our friends giving November 10th, 11th, 12th, I believe, something of that nature, um, you are more than welcome to register yourself. Uh, we're going to be looking forward to meeting each other. Uh, it's all about breaking, breaking bread and fellowshipping with one another. So we're going to be looking forward to that. Hopefully you guys can make it out. Once again, that is inside of the Facebook group. Uh, if you want to get involved with government contracting and anything that we got going on, um, don't forget you can go to GovCon cheat code. Oh, also before I switch and talk about that, while you're here in this Facebook group, if you click on guides right here, I have videos teaching you exactly how to build an online business completely for free. So you might want to come again to travisnose.com, go to the Facebook group and join us over there. Uh, somebody will let you in soon. Uh, if you want to get involved with government contracting, just go to govconcheatcode.com, govconcheatcodes.com. You could take the assessment if you're not sure. Uh, under that, you could click the tab. I have free resources that you could take uh, take advantage of. My pure money resource list, I highly advise you all uh, to check that out. I have a government contracting basics and a SAM worksheet to get your um, business registered in the system. Um, and make sure you're ready. Again, all of that stuff is for free. I do have some paid stuff down here um, that you can take advantage of as well. If you want to get into our Pure Money GovCon e-course, you can do that right here, or you can visit puremoneygovcon.com. Get yourself registered. If you'd like to get into our next seven-day challenge, again, which will be starting, um, what did I say, October the 24th, 17 days from now. You're going to go to Pure Money GovCon 7-Day Challenge. I truly do believe this is the best way for all of my beginner people who don't know about government contracting, who may know just a little but need to get a little more taste, uh, and they don't want to spend a lot of money, get involved in the 7-Day Challenge so you can figure it out. The best option for you would be to get into my uh, year course. But again, if you're not ready for that, and go ahead and jump into the seven day challenge by going to www.puremoneygovcon.com forward slash seven day challenge. So again, that is all the information that I have for you guys today. I hope that you guys got valuable information from this. If you did, if you did pick up some valuable information for today, I need you to go ahead and drop a money bag in the chat. I need to see the yeah. money going into the chat. You Let me know, know if y'all picked up anything that I put down Your today. Money, this is the only way I keep that I can confirm bag, that you guys I understood anything that I said. So once again, if you guys picked up anything that I put down today, I need you to go ahead and drop that money bag into the chats. Uh, I do appreciate you all. Remember, network with each other. Utilize some of that digital currency that you got. Digital currency does not cost you a single penny to use. What is digital currency? It's liking people's stuff. 
It's subscribing to people's stuff. It's commenting on the people's stuff. You know the same stuff that you want people to do for you? Well, guess what? Why don't you start doing it for somebody else and watch how it comes back to you times 10. So find some people to share that digital currency with today. Don't just do it with me. There's other people in the room. There's other people in these comments right here that are like-minded just like you. It's probably some people in the audience in the comments right now who are doing 10 times more successful work than I'm doing. All you got to do is tap into it. Share some of that digital currency with them. And watch how things will work out for each and every one of you. Don't forget, make sure you are liking. Make sure you are subscribing to my channel. You guys have been doing a hell of a job with that. And I do appreciate each and every one of you. Again, we couldn't get to it without you guys. I love you all. Y'all have a safe time out here in these streets, these clubhouse streets, these YouTube streets. Remember, you cannot learn anything by just taking notes. If you took some notes today, great. But them notes ain't going to teach you a damn thing. You have to be willing to take the action. Take that action today. You ain't got to wait till tomorrow. You ain't got to wait till next week, next month, next year. We're doing billionaire activity today. Now, before I get out of here, I want everybody to put in the chat, I am a millionaire. Everybody, I need you to type, I am a millionaire in the chat right now. Not because you're saying that I am a millionaire, but because you're claiming that you are going to be a millionaire. Those are your words that you type right there, not my words. Make that claim today. I am a millionaire. And I know each and every one of you all are going to be a millionaire in the next year. Claim it today and make it happen. I love you all, man. Stay safe in these streets. I'll talk with you all later.